Hello beautiful people, I hope you are all doing well. Today we're gonna solve the problem unique paths. So let's get started by reading the problem. There is a robot on M where M is the row and N is the column. Multiply M by N. Great. The robot is initially located at the top left corner and the robot try to move to the bottom right corner. The robot can only move either down or right at any point in time. So given the two integers M and N, return the number of possible unique paths that the robot can take to reach the bottom right corner. The test case are generated so that the answer will be less than or equal to 2 multiplied by 10 power 9. So after reading the problem, the information that's gonna help us solving this problem is that the robot can only move either down or right any point in time so those are only the direction possible so to solve this problem we're going to use dynamic programming and as you know dynamic programming is about breaking the problem into smaller sub problems and solve them after that solve the large one so the robot is located at the top left corner means at one one position m multiplied by n grade if we are starting from here how many unique paths do we need to reach any square to the right so one move or let's say how many unique paths do we need to reach any square to the bottom also one move so to solve this problem we're going to create a dp matrix starting at the first square which at the position one for the first column and the first row so as we know we can only move down or right so if we want to reach the last six square at the first row how many steps do I need the answer is that there is a lot of steps that you can take you can jump two steps three times or taking another step but no matter how many steps you're gonna take is still one pad to the right or one path to down but let's say we want to reach the square that at this position how many paths we can take the first one is we can move right down and the second one is we can move down right means we have two paths to, re to reach the this position and this number is also the same as adding one of the first rows at position two plus one of the second row at one in another words it's just right plus down because the only way to reach this square is to be square on top of it that's mean you're moving down or square to the left means you're moving to the right because those are the direction that we can use now as we know this we can fill out the rest of the, this matrix and it's just no, the number of the square above plus the number from the square to the left so let's fill out the rest of this deep matrix so we can reach the last square so as you can see to reach the end you need 21 paths for three rows and six columns so let's see how it will look at the code so the first thing we're going to do is to initialize a base condition that say if we have only one columns and one row return one because we have only one path after that we're gonna create a dp matrix the uh, array that's gonna hold all the possible squares so the dp matrix equal to array of value one multiplied by the number of columns multiplied by the number of each row means at each row we're gonna create a sub array and after that we're gonna set the first of the three rows to be one since we have only one path is to go down if we want to reach the end of the first column and also the first row with the one value since it has one path to reach the end of the first row and now we can fill the rest of the D of our dp matrix so we're gonna iterate over the row starting at one and also we're gonna initialize a nested for loop that's gonna iterate over the column starting at one and after that we're gonna start the execution of our formula that we said before during the explanation means if we want just a specific uh, path of a specific square we need the number of the square above and the square to the left. So we're gonna say dp at index row at index column equal to dp at index row at index column minus one plus the dp at index row minus one at index column. So now we are at the end of the loop. We'll have the entire dp array filled with the values and we'll return the last value in the last column in the last row. So we can say we'll return dp at index minus one at index minus one in Python. So for the time complexity, it's going to be O of M multiplied by N, where M and N are the dimensions of the matrix. And for the space complexity, it's going to be O of M multiplied by N because we've created a DP matrix that depend on the input matrix means the rows and columns. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.